Okay guys, due to the resounding amount of positive feedback for the Fear Marathon, I'm going to do it. It will start Tuesday, June 28th of next week. The first installment is actually going to be Fear 3, and it's going to be featured on the 3 Kilobytes channel. I actually have to start playing it today, I haven't had time to play it yet. But it will start with Fear 3, and I will be doing all of the Fear installments, including the two expansion packs. So once again, thank you so much for the huge amount of positive feedback on that video, and I will start the Fear Marathon, Tuesday of next week. Now on to today's topic. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today is Friday, June 24th, 2011, and it seems that Gabe Newell, the co-founder of Valve Software, seems to really like the Wii U. Gabe Newell made these comments after his keynote speech at the Games for Change Festival. He told Joystick that he feels the Wii U seems to be a lot more powerful than the previous generation. It sort of fits better into the scalability in terms of graphics performance and CPU performance, so I think it'll be a lot easier for us to fit it into our scalability model. Now it's a lot easier to look at the Wii U and have it fit within that framework. Developers such as Gearbox and id Software also expressed their interest in the Wii U. Okay, so this announcement from Gabe Newell is a big deal for a couple reasons. For anybody who remembers when the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 were going to come out, Gabe despised both of the platforms. He didn't like the foreign architecture of the PlayStation 3, and he didn't like the heavy restrictions of the Xbox 360. So for him to just come out from the get-go and say, hey, I like this new console that's coming out, it's gonna work really well, is huge. He's never said that before. It also speaks volumes for what the Wii U is going to be capable of. It's great to see other developers such as Gearbox and id Software show interest in the platform because one, it means it's gonna be powerful, and two, it means it's going to be easy to program for, and on top of it, we're going to see a whole slew of hardcore games for the Wii U. Now, I made a video saying that I thought Nintendo's E3 press conference discussing the Wii U was disastrous, but all the buzz surrounding the console and all the positive things I'm hearing from developers is a really good sign. Nintendo promised they were going to bring the hardcore audience back to its platform next generation, and they seem to be doing just that. If you combine the fact that all these hardcore developers developers are jumping on board, and the fact that the Wii U is going to be out at least a year before its competitors, there is a very good chance that Nintendo may take the crown for next generation. We'll have to wait and see, but I have a very good feeling. So now it's time to leave your thoughts on this topic. Do you think the Wii U is going to be successful? Do you think it's going to be number one next generation? Are you excited that Gabe Newell is giving the new console his approval, which he usually doesn't do? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below, and as always, thank you for supporting Review. Tech USA.